Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's been a little while. Had to upload a video here. I got some new plants. Did some new uh, aquascapes. Thought this came out pretty cool. Um, got me some new Busa Philandra down here. Or Busa Calf Philandra, however you want to say it. Uh, it's pretty cool. So there's a boost Busa Philandra Medusa. Um, I think that one's Red Ketagang. And Oh, I forgot the name of this one. Um, I believe maybe it's Thea. Not sure. Anyway, there's the big fat mama. There's the female Brussel nose. My breeder, she never fails. It's like clockwork every two weeks. And there's a little baby there. I had some Rapashi in here. Uh, yeah, there's some Boost Green Wavy. But, um, yeah, just the little 28 gallon cube. Pretty cool. Let me walk you all over here. I haven't showed the African cichlids. They're looking great. You see my big Venustus in all his glory. Still getting a lot of aggression problems. Honestly, I think they're just, they're getting too big. They're getting too big for their tank. I just fed them a bunch of peas. So that's why the water is all. See what it does to the water when you feed them these peas? It all goes cloudy and... It's just very dirty. Synodonis is getting pretty big also. There's the uh, Nimbochromus Linny. He's starting to color up. Yeah, and uh, I added the dolphin. So we got the big dolphin in here. I think she may be a big female. And I got these other two also. I think this is the other female. And then the mean male. He's the smallest of them all. And man, he's so aggressive. But yeah. Uh, there's my hybrid, Cynodonis. He's a multi-punctata is something. I think they call him a Black Panther. They're a mix. Uh, where they're trying to get a solid black Cynodonis with white fins. It's a breeding project you see a lot. Uh, they'll usually sell them as multi-punctatus, but they're clearly a, a uh, hybrid. You can usually tell by the tail they have like where the dots... I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. It's the BC-10. The Nimbochromus Fusco. Oh, and I also rescaped... I rescaped the planted aquarium. I had some big rocks. See the big rock I got here in the... in the back. Um, again, I got a bunch of new plants in. So I just had to plant them, and while I was planting them, I thought, well, I'll just rescape it. Even though this entire aquarium is going to get torn down when, uh, probably sooner than later, when it's ready for our new floor, we're getting a new floor put in, so all my aquariums are going to have to be broke down and moved out of the way. But for now, this will work. I think it turned out great. I mean, you can see... It's pretty lush, man. It's all full of stems in the back. You know, there's blue hygro. My pogo snowman's not doing so well. See how the leaves curl up on me like that? Here's some more uh, boost. That's some new boost of phalangia I got. I'm not sure what that's called either, but uh, yeah, you see, I got a lot of diatomes too. Had a big 
break out of the diatome, so I cut back the lights. Added uh, a few more bristle nose also. So they've been cleaning away. There's some Luigia puruensis. As that gets taller, I'll trim it. But like I said, this isn't a permanent scape. Um, it's just going to have to work for now. We also got some beautiful Luigia repens. It came in really red and just a beautiful plant. You see it all curled over because it's fresh out the mail. But tomorrow it'll all be standing up straight, looking healthy. Oh, this one I do know. That's Thea Balloon. So Thea Balloon. That's what they call that Busophilandra. And then, oh, this is a cool plant. This Hygrophila Panatophyta or Panatophyta. I'm not sure how they say it. Here's the big angelfish. Looking so good. Probably the best angelfish I've ever had. I mean, his fins, he's just perfect. He does have a little kink in his dorsal. Other than that, I mean, he's flawless. And the creeping Jenny, you see this yellow growing up the rock right there. That creeping Jenny's not doing too good either. It hasn't hardly done anything, but, uh. All right, man, we're going on six minutes. It's pretty long for a video I upload, but, uh. You know, I just make them on my cell phone and upload them. So, thanks to everyone that's watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave me some comments. I guess I could show this also. This is just a little 2.5 Bucephalandra tank. Hopefully we start getting some of those cool water leaves that have all those blues and purples. A little piece of uh, bulbitis. Found it floating around. It was growing. So I thought, well, I'll stick it in here. Alright, y'all. Take care. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.